Remember that logarithmic tables were originally made to convert multiplications to additions? Well, given this memory, this rule will make a lot of sense. It's called the product rule. And it could be summarized as log base b of x times y equals log base b of x plus log base b of y. Again, converting a multiplication into an addition using logs. Let's check out this new rule. Example 1, log of 3 times 4. Now, we could enter it directly into our calculator as log of 3 times 4, or log of 12, and we'd get 1.079 rounded. If we were to break this up using our new product rule, it would look like this. Log of 3 plus log of 4. And we recognize that the base in all of this would be 10, the default. And to our calculator, log of 3 plus log of 4, and we get the same thing. 1.079. Confirmed. Example 2, a more algebraic one. Simplify log base x of 3 times x to the 4. And if we were to break this one up using our new product rule, we'd have log base x of 3 plus log base x of x to the 4. Now, we see the exponent here and we remember back to our power rule. And we could rewrite this as log base x of 3 plus 4 log base x of x. And at this point, we're starting to remember that log base x of x will just equal 1. And so we could simplify this down to log base x of 3 plus 4. Example 3. Expand, and this one's definitely a bit more complicated. So let's give it a try. Breaking it all up using our new product rule, and we would have log base 3 of 3 plus log base 3 of a plus 3 plus log base 3 of a minus 4 to the power of 4. And we see log base 3 of 3, which we know is 1. And we also notice the exponent here. And so we can apply our product rule. And we would have 1 plus log base 3 of a plus 3 plus 4 times log base 3 of a minus 4. Expand it. One more. Example 4. Write as a single logarithm. Hmm. So this one's already expanded, and so we're kind of going backwards on this one. We're using the same principles, that is, the product rule, but we have to think in a backwards way. So let's take a look at this. First, these numbers in front of the logs here, well, we remember back to our power rule, and they could be converted into exponents. And now we would have log of 5 plus log of x to the 3 plus log of x plus 1 to the power of 2, all base 10. And now, going from additions to multiplications per the product rule, kind of backwards, and we'd make this one big resulting log. So, we can use our new product rule to manipulate log expressions to suit our needs whether that means expanding an expression into multiple logs all being added, or simplifying the expression by bringing the additions all together into a single log involving multiplications. 